for one, it made the pack big. Two, they upgraded the materials. And number three, they changed the harness system on the pack. At this point, we all know Kafaro. They're that hunting company that also makes some great everyday carry packs. This is the Antero 2.0 right here, an upgraded version, a redesign. I really like what they did with this pack. They took some of the features from out of their line of everyday carry packs, incorporated it into this pack, and I think that they did an excellent job on this pack. We're gonna run through it. I, like I said in the intro, there's some big changes and then some subtle changes. So we're gonna, when I can, I'm gonna point out the changes that I've noticed from version one. You could take a look at that video. I'll put a link up in the corner of the screen to this version two right here. So I like to take people to the cooler sections. We're gonna do the specs. I already said that this is a bigger pack. It moved from a 24.5 liter pack in the version one to a 27.8 eight liter pack in this version two. So almost three more liters of space. That three more liters doesn't sound like a lot, but in actuality, in actual use, it is a significant amount. And it moves this pack to a different place, a more capable place for me right here. I, I wanna give you the dimensions. If you're gonna take a tape measure to this thing, it's 20 inches high, it's 10.5 inches wide, and it can expand out to a depth of 6.5 inches. This pack, is one inch taller than the original version, the version one of this pack. And I got to say, it does make a difference. This pack is a long pack. I I, I prefer it, I like it. I'm a six foot tall guy. Um, For a shorter person, this pack may be a little long for them, but I like that the extra space, the capacity we just talked about, and the extra height. This pack right here is made out of a 500D Cordura body. I think the original version was a 500D Cordura version as well. But what's new is the lining in this pack. We might as well go ahead into the interior of the pack. You got an AquaGuard zipper that runs all the way around, almost like it is, not almost like, it is a U-shaped opening. It's four zippers on the main section, then that means that you got a lot of versatility. So you can actually open the pack from the side when it's on body, like this, and get into the main section, and there's actually some organizational pockets right here in the front that you can get access to on body, so I like that. Also, what they built in is like the little security catch down here that you can kind of slide your zippers in. This is not long-term security. This is kind of to slow a person down from getting into your bag. But I like the YKK zips. I like the, the zippers right here. I would think they're like a number six or number eight. They're not a large number 10, but I don't need that just to get into the side of the pack. They're super smooth. And we're gonna lay this thing all the way open. And I wanna show you this main interior space. Lots of space inside of this pack. Now, I was talking about the 500D Cordura on the outside of the pack. And on the inside, they've moved to a VX21 material, X-Pack VX21 material. That's a leaps and bounds above, you know, far as material uses in most of these everyday carry packs. Aligning this great. So I got a jacket in there, but I wanna show you this, this VX material. It makes the interior look really good, very polished. So in there, I got my Galen leather notebook and some sunglasses. I got my dad joke books I always amuse my kids with. Inside, they have their chamber pocket up here at the top, which I always enjoy having a chamber pocket. Most companies don't include a, just an additional pouch for you. It's up here on some clips. If you flip it back, you get to a hydration slash laptop compartment back here. This is a 15 inch laptop. It fits in there with no problem. It's suspended it off the bottom by a lot like a good like two or three inches so i appreciate that not much padding though in this laptop sleeve so you want to be careful you're not packing out some sharp objects that are going to be pressing against your laptop just that vx material and then you got your hydration hook up here at the top now 
uh, <laughs> right here, the tag, it says made in America, not the regular made in America, made in America, sewn in America, with American made products, American made fabrics, threads, cushion, all of that. That's what Kafaru does. A lot different from a lot of different companies. So when we get down talking to about the price, don't have sticker shock. You have your hydration ports on the sides that go run out of the sides of the pack and they're really well done. The top of them has like elastic, uh, elastic at the top just to finish that off. The tapes and seams in, in the seams inside of the bag are taped and sewn really well. The stitching is superior, high quality. I don't know any other adjectives to tell you how good the stitching is inside of this pack. It's excellent. So, so that's the main section and it's a lot, you have a lot of volume. You could travel with this pack with no problem. I, I know you could travel two, three days easily with this pack. So let me take you to the, the inside lid of the pack on the other side. Now what I was saying before is you have zipper, like a zipper pocket here that you can access from the outside of the pack it's, since it's like a horizontal pocket. Right in there I have my pop off leather little moleskin notebook and then my green room 136 little pocket where I keep all my cards. The mesh in here, superior, high quality. What I would say is it's comparable to like a Mystery Ranch three day assault pack in the inside, very high quality nylon. It's gonna be last for years. So zippers in here are great. Little, you know, little tie right there matching the bag. And then this pocket right here, I have to admit, I wish the zipper, this is a pocket at the top of the bag, so you can access it from the top of the bag, but I, I have to admit, I wish this zipper was reversed. I wish the zipper was at the top and then you zipped it down instead of how it is now where the zipper sits at the bottom and you zip it, you kind of zip it up. It's a small thing, but when you're when you're in like when I'm in my truck, right, and I have the bag sitting next to me, right, and I flip this, I have to flip this back and search for the zipper inside of the bag instead of it being right here at the top where I can kind of zip it down. So that's one little nitpicky thing that I found with this zipper. I wish it was reversed. Inside the pocket itself is great. It's got a lot of space in it. I got the Kafaru pullouts to go with the bag because why not? Cause they're great. They're super light. This one's like a blaze orange and this one's like an olive green. They both fit in there. So one set up with electronics and one set up with like healthcare stuff. But inside, yeah, same great mesh, same great VX material in the inside of this pocket. This is a huge pocket um, on this bag. I actually like this a whole, whole lot. Gives you a lot of organizational options. Like I said, you gotta zip that, that zipper down. So inside, you got two pockets, laptop sleeve, chamber pocket, place for hydration, set up for simple everyday carry or short travel. I like it. Now let's go on the outside of the bag. Now what I will say about Kafaru's gear, it's very well thought out. So we'll start at the bottom here. We have some lashing points down here where you can lash in some extra, you know, whatever you want, bed rolls if you're gonna be using it. This is like a hiking pad or just a sit pad. You could put it, pop it down, down here at the bottom. Same great grab handles that stand up away from the bag. This webbing is very high quality. You get a great purchase on this on this bag. I'm sure you can pull the bag from upside down if you wanted to. And you get also have another great grab handle up here at the top, which feels just as comfortable, stands away from the bag. You know, knuckle rubbing right here on the grab right here. I like that. So you move up, you got the Kafaru little tag sewn in. Great. Extra step. Yes, I appreciate it. Then on the Antero, what makes it the Antero are the two great water bottle pockets on the outside of the bag. So you do have like this, you know, I don't know, it's like a bat wing kind of feature on the outside of the bag. They will take a 32 ounce. This is a 32 ounce Yeti right here. Fits in there with absolutely no problem. I think a 40 ounce bottle would fit in there as well. So they did not change that about the bag is these two great water bottle pockets and something kind of iconic when you think about Antero, the way that these water bottle pockets are shaped on the side. Now, as we move up, 
In the old Antero, we had Molly from my Molly guys. They may be missing that. You know, that's the that's the only thing. So there's no place where you to hook in additional Molly pouches on the outside. Now what Kafaro did subtly is they put in some hooks here on the on the side and then also on the bottom where you can put their Sherman pocket or their additional pockets that they sell on their website. So that would be great. If you're looking for some extra space, some extra organization, you can hook that Sherman pocket right here to the front. Now, additional thing that they changed, this quick access zipper in the front, they moved it from a horizontal orientation to a vertical orientation. And at first I got the bag and I was like, I do not like that. But after use, after using it, I was like, I get it. I understand why they did that. So usually when you have a pocket that goes horizontal, it's tough for you to get all the way down inside the pocket or to see what's all the way down inside of a pocket. But when you have a pocket like this one, that zips all the way to the bottom of the pocket. Now when you open it, you can get access to everything that's inside, even the things that wanna hide in those corners that don't usually <laughs> have the tough time searching for, they can't hide. So they have my LTC little pocket IFAC. I put that in the front so I have to tell somebody, hey, my IFAC medical care, medical kit is right there in the front of my bag and mask because that's where we're living. Sometimes you have to carry a mask. So inside, a lot of space in this first front pocket. The, the volume of these pockets is excellent. And all of them have what seems like their independent dimension. So I appreciate that. Very nice. So. Even though aesthetically, when I first saw the bag, I wasn't feeling it, functionally excellent. So that's that's one thing. So you have a little zipper pull here so you can zip zip up and you even have a zipper garage on the zipper on the front. So that's an excellent thing. Little subtle details that Kafar was thinking about. Yes, I appreciate it. Now, you move up and I wanna talk to you guys about the side of the bag. We kinda of already talked about the water bottle pockets, but there's a compression system here. And this compression system works really well to make the bag smaller kind of compress the load. Even if you wanted to run like a fishing pole up or a weapon up on the side of the pack, you can compress that load down so if you're moving, everything's not gonna fall out. One complaint is that this strap is super long. Kafaro, I would want you to think about some type of strap management on this pack. So if you're using it hunting or just everyday carry, you're gonna want this strap tucked in. You don't want it hanging in the wind and that we'll also talk about that on the uh, sternum strap as well. So just some simple Velcro, I, I, you can add it, you know, you, you could add it. Like I said, I'm nitpicking right now. You can add, I can add that myself, but it would be nice to, you know, come from Kafaro already kind of tucked away and ready to go. So moving up, you, like already, we already talked about the grab handle. Then you have an additional quick access, exterior access or first order access. If Chase Reeves was here, he would talk about nice AquaGuard YKK zipper. This pocket is another huge pocket that you can fit a whole lot of items in. I have this Viper Aid little organizer has my EDC knife in it, which is the uh, Benchmade Bug Out. Also have the uh, Lumatop EDC tool and a pen. And then I have my truck keys, and then I have my office keys in there. On The office keys are on a little clip there, plastic. I wish they would upgrade to metal on these clips, but and I wish this was a little longer so you could actually access a lock with this. But great amount of space inside this pocket. I got my wallet in there, and I, all, I got my wallet in there. I also have Tic Tacs. So this pocket is huge. That's that's the long the long story that I just told is this pocket has a great amount of space in it. So for for me I could put all of this stuff into this one pocket and that's an excellent excellent thing for me because there's some things that I just want to grab and go and I don't necessarily want to go into the main section to get. So I like that. So let's flip around and talk about the back panel of the bag. Probably the jewel of the changes that they made. So I have the checkpoint. Let me, forgot to do this in the beginning. Why not? This is the checkpoint, right? Kafaro checkpoint, the Antero. You can see the height difference. Like when I was talking about the height, yeah, you can see the height difference of the pack. 
I think the checkpoint is a little fatter, like a little wider, but the Antero is definitely a little taller. But what I was talking about are the shoulder straps. So if you guys can remember on the Antero one, it had like, uh, I forgot the name of what Kafaro called their shoulder straps, but it had like a webbing here, and then it had the pad a little bit lower, and like everything was stitched together. The checkpoint came out maybe a couple of years ago, and the, the padding, the shoulder straps on this pack were excellent, are excellent. So it's one of my favorite packs. I actually sold this pack and had to buy it back because I loved it so much. So the checkpoint shoulder straps have been incorporated in the Antero 2.0. And it's a great thing, very comfortable. The density that they've you know, used on the foam is excellent. These are the little loops for your Sherman pocket right there. But I love the contouring, subtle contouring. It's not a dramatic cut, so it's gonna fit a lot of people really well. Now, you got a small grab handle in the back here, mainly to, you know, I think just to hang this pack up. And then the, the big beefy one in the front, so if you really wanna carry it out. but. Moving down on the shoulder straps, like I said, great mesh on the back of the shoulder straps. They feel excellent. Sternum strap here on a slider system. For me, since this is only a 27.8 liter pack, I'll probably end up taking the sternum strap off, but that's just me. But what I was saying about the strap management earlier is like, you know, great sternum strap, not knocking the sternum strap, just this, this length, just needs to be tucked in somewhere. So it'd be great if Kafar would just throw on some extra Velcro for that sternum strap. Now the, the, like I said, I'll probably end up taking the sternum strap off. Um, great webbing all the way down to the bottom of the pack. And also Kafaro does this thing, this thing that nobody else has done. And this is probably one of the only packs that I've seen it done is they add this like rubberized material down here, which kind of holds everything together. When you're wearing the pack, it just settles the pack down on your back. So things are not like moving around or sw swishing. It just like holds onto a jacket or holds onto a shirt. It's an excellent thing. I think a lot of companies should think about adding that. And in the back right here, you have a place for a hip belt. Since this pack is so tall, a hip belt could actually work with this pack. So, uh, you know, that's actually a good thing. And, it's, and it attaches to some Velcro. And I think that Kafaro sells it on their website. So one thing about the back panel is you have different options for stays. There's, you have options for aluminum stays and the composite stays. I chose the composite stays and I think that they do excellent for my back shape. So that's your choices and you can access them from inside of the main section. It's just right below, it's just right below the chamber pocket in here. You can access those, those uh, composite stays. There's a little Velcro portion you can get in there and you can change your stays out if you want so before we get out of here we got to talk about the price the price on this pack is 415 i know it's a lot of money when i tell you to run out and go buy a kafaru pack right now probably not i would not tell you to do that i would tell you to do some research i would tell you to try to put your hands on the pack i would tell you that for those Kafaru guys, they kind of already know what they're getting into. But this is a quality, quality pack. When we talk about, you know, the top pack makers out there, Kafaru should be in the conversation. They make an excellent, excellent pack. And I see the progression. This is definitely a progression over the Antero one. Hands down, I like this pack better. Excellent pack. Yes, I do recommend it. Think about it. Research it. Look it. Give Kafaru a call ask your questions, and then you make a decision if you wanna purchase. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It helps me out. It helps the video go out to more people. If you love this content, subscribe to the channel. It's totally damn free. Come on and subscribe. And if you got a question, leave it down there in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And see you in the next one, guys. Peace.